بِاسْمِ رَبِّكَ الَّذِي Assalamu alaikum alaykum everyone Welcome back to another episode of Ramadan time <laughs> Alhamdulillah I am doing well And I hope everybody is doing fine Subhanallah There are only a few days left until Ramadan finishes I can't believe this month has gone by so fast I hope everybody is doing lots of good deeds And trying to do as much ibadat and dhikr as they can <laughs> I am reading as much Quran as I can as well. Are you fasting? I am fasting as I'm well. Fasting. <laughs> our belief in our hearts should stay firm. Allah may test us to see how strong our iman is. During these times, we should not lose our patience and we should not say disrespectful words as well. This will displease Allah. Instead, we should stay firm. Just remember that we should keep our iman strong no matter how many difficulties we go through. The companions stayed firm in their iman despite all the difficulties they faced. Let's move on to the good deed of the day. The good deed of the day. Volunteer. At a soup kitchen, at your masjid, at a homeless shelter, an animal shelter, even tutoring a child for no pay. So, Sumiha, do you want to volunteer for something? No? I do. <laughs> Maybe I could volunteer for something as well. Sumiha, I don't know what that means. Volunteer means when you try and help out someone, okay? Okay. Samiha, do you know that the Holy Quran says, and help one another in goodness and piety? It also says, do good that you may succeed. Mm. Let's move on to Hadith. Hadith. An Abi Musa radiallahu anhu and in Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam kala inna ma mathalul jalisi al jalisi salihi wal jalisi sawi kahamil miski wana fiqil kiri fahamilul miski imma ayyuhviaka wa imma antabta'a minhu wa imma antajida minhu rihan tayyibatan wa nafikhul kiri imma ayyuhriqa thiyabaka wa imma antajida rihan khabitha Narrated Abu Musa al-Ash'ari radiyallahu anhu I heard Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying, The similitude of good company and that of bad company is that of the owner of musk and of the one blowing the bellows. The owner of musk would either offer you some free of charge or you would buy it from him or at least you would smell its pleasant odour. And as for the one who blows the bellows, i.e. the blacksmith, he would either burn your clothes or at least you shall have to smell a repugnant smell. Let's have a look at the lesson to this hadith. Cheeky Samiha. So Samiha, the lessons of the hadith are number one, Islam guides us to be closer to pious and good people. Okay? So you should always be friends with good and pious people. Okay? Number two, we are often influenced by our friends, whether good or bad. Good. No. <laughs> That's not bad. a question. Bad. Number three, good people will help us to become good too and to avoid what is bad. So, Samiha, good people lead us to good and bad people lead us to bad. Okay. So, who's f- who do you want to be friends with, good people or bad people? Good people. Yes. Let's have a look at the discussion section. That's the discussion section. (laughs) I'm going to ask you a few questions and you're going to... Answer them. (laughs) Yeah. Number one. What kind of people should we choose as our friends? New people. New people? No. Good people. Yeah, good people. Number two. Why should we choose good people as our friends? 
because we, we, otherwise, if you don't, then you can't have any friends. <laughs> no, because if the person that you're being friends with is bad, they're going to lead you to bad things. Okay. Number three, what could happen if we spend too much time with people who may not be that good? Um, the people. And what could happen if we spend too much time with bad people? Bad people. Or people who are not that good? Um, people that are not good. But what happens if we spend too much time with them? Um, I don't know what the answer is. Because the thing that happens if we spend too much time with people who are not that good is that we start to change ourselves and become not that good, just like them. Okay. We're going to get influenced by them. We don't want that to happen. Yeah, we don't want that to happen. Now, let's move on to... Sora Learning Time! We're going to move on to a new surah, Surah al humaza Repeat hmm. after me. Yeah, but I know <laughs> the name. Let's move on. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Wailun li kulli humazati lumaza. Wailun li kulli humazati lumaza. Alladhi jama'a malaw wa addada. Alladhi jama'a malaw wa addada. يحسب أن ما له أخلده يحسب أن ما له أخلده كلا لا ينبذن في الحطمة كلا لا ينبذن في الحطمة وما أدراك ما الحطمة وما أدراك ما الحطمة نار الله المقدة نار الله المقدة التي تطلع على الأفئدة التي تطلع على الأفئدة إنها عليهم مقصدة إنها عليهم مقصدة في أماد ممددة في أماد ممددة Now again ويل لكل همزة اللمزة ويل لكل همزة اللمزة الذي جمع مالا وعدده الذي جمع مالا وعدده يحسب أن ماله أخلده يحسب أن ماله أخلده كلا لا ينبذن في الحطمة كلا لا ينبذن في الحطمة وما أدراك ما الحطمة وما أدراك ما الحطمة نار الله المقدة نار الله المقدة التي تطلع على الأفئدة التي تطلع على الأفئدة إنها عليهم مقصدة إنها عليهم مقصدة في عمد ممددة في عمد ممددة Now, tomorrow you're going to say Surah Al-Humaza by yourself. Right. You can do it. Say, Insha'Allah, I will. Insha'Allah, I will. Yes, you should always have hope in Allah. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to end the video. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Say assalamu alaikum everyone. Ibrahim,